welcome you all once again in the course of uh, <coughs> blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies uh, in last uh, video session we started with the lesson number 3 okay and today we are going to continue with that now today we are going to discuss the <coughs> tires of the blockchain technology here the tires of the blockchain technology technology it means the blockchain uh, advancement in a blockchain technology is now categorized as per the application development okay so now let us see uh, one by one blockchain 1.0 one 2.0 3.0 and x.0 x.0 is for the future advancement in the blockchain now blockchain 1.0 here when it is it was invented at that time the bitcoin was first introduced in a blockchain 1.0 and bitcoin kind of a application was developed okay on the blockchain technology that is you can see that is the first tier that is blockchain <coughs> 1.0 and this is the first generation of the blockchain technology now as we move ahead and as there are uh, research and advancement is going on in the blockchain then blockchain 2.0 comes into the picture now because of the importance and the futures of this blockchain technology blockchain is now used in the different sectors like you can see it is a finance okay then uh, derivatives options okay uh, different uh, government uh, currencies so this kind of applications are developed in a blockchain 2.0 later on uh, as we are uh, aware about this different applications which are developed so far the use of the blockchain technology is now expanded in the different verticals of the industries now uh, in blockchain 3.0 it is now used in the media laws okay arts and the justice so i am listing here different sectors where the blockchain is successfully implemented and that happens in a blockchain 3.0 then next one is what blockchain x.0 it means uh, we are uh, seeing that blockchain x.0 will be a complete public blockchain okay like your google search engine and everybody can make use of that particular public blockchain for uh, their use okay that will be the future of the blockchain that is blockchain x.0 so simply understanding is this is not the technical layers in the blockchain technology but as per the application development as per the project implementation in the different sectors of the industry this blockchains are categorized like tires are tires are classified like 1.0 2.0 3.0 and x.0 let us move ahead now what are the features of the blockchain now distributed consensus as we discuss distributed consensus it means what whenever the transaction is created in the blockchain network that transaction is confirmed only when all the nodes in that particular blockchain network agreed on that particular transaction and if the consensus is reached among all the uh, nodes in that particular network then and then only the transaction is confirmed so that distributed consensus mechanism or the future of this blockchain is very very important and it has a very important key role then transaction verification so each and every transaction which is uh, created by the node so any of the node in a blockchain any of the node in a blockchain network can <coughs> create the transaction okay for example if you take the uh, example of the finance financial finance industry or the bank and if you want to transfer the money from one account to another account that is called as a transaction so such kind of transactions can be created by any of the node in the blockchain network and that transaction is verified in a blockchain network okay means transaction is not repeated once it is recorded into the blockchain network so whenever the transaction is created it is <coughs> transaction is created it is confirmed and that is the unique transaction in a blockchain network so each and every transaction is verified then platform for the smart contract now 
while executing the different transactions in a blockchain network what we want to do we want to enforce some conditions okay we want to enforce enforce some condition as per the requirement of the application or as per the <coughs> requirements of the stakeholder so for that purpose uh, smart contracts are there these smart contracts are what these smart contracts are the software programs okay which are written, which are written you are using the scripting languages okay and you can develop your own business logic for executing the business logic now next one is what transferring the value between the peers that is also one of the important feature here the value between the different peers or the nodes in a blockchain network is uh, <coughs> transferred using the concept of tokens okay that is also one of the feature of the blockchain now generation of the cryptocurrency so this is one of the feature of the blockchain but this is not applicable to each and every blockchain this is the optional feature so gen okay cryptocurrency feature is a option it is it is only uh, uh, applicable in case of the bitcoin this smart property it is like a smart property is a smart uh, a contract okay it's similar to the smart contract then provide the security in blockchain technology we are we uh, we are using the proven cryptographic algorithm okay latest cryptographic algorithm in the industry okay which provides the secure uh, uh, integrity availability okay just so that kind of features are provided uh, in a blockchain okay next one is a immutability it means what when the transaction is created by any of the node and when the consensus is reached and the, when the transaction is recorded in the blockchain network then no one can modify the transaction which is confirm which is recorded and confirmed by all the nodes in a blockchain network it is highly impossible okay that and immutability is one of the uh, you can see unique selling point of this particular blockchain technology then uniqueness so as i told you the transactions are created by the different nodes transactions are verified transactions are uh, confirmed and stored in a distributed ledger but each and every transaction which is recorded okay which is confirmed is a unique no duplicate transactions are <coughs> recorded and confirmed in a blockchain technology okay so these are the you can see the features of the blockchains and because of this uh, features because of this features the blockchain is very very popular in the current market scenario now let us see the types of the blockchain here what are the different types of the blockchain now here there are different type public blockchain private blockchain so depending upon the word the so public blockchain means what all the nodes all the nodes which are part of this particular blockchain network means anyone can join the this kind of a blockchain public blockchain okay and it, but uh, in private blockchain only permitted nodes can join this particular blockchain network so again depending upon this there are the permissionless and uh, permitted blockchain uh, so categories are there so public blockchain and private blockchain so semi private blockchain uh, uh, is what it, it, you can call it as a semi private or you can call it as a hybrid uh, blockchain where we are combining the features of public and private uh, blockchains okay then permission ledgers permission ledgers means all the nodes which are part of this particular blockchain are uh, join the blockchain network with permission no other node can join the this particular blockchain without the permission then fully private and proprietary blockchain so this is not uh, exist in a real time only it is a theoretically available fully private and the proprietary uh, blockchain then tokenized blockchain and the tokenless blockchain tokenized blockchain it is you can take the example of your bitcoin network or the bitcoin uh, blockchain uh, bitcoin application or the blockchain network where the tokens are used for transferring the value between the uh, one from one address to another address next one is what tokenless blockchain so tokenless blockchain is what it is uh, it is simply used for storing the database it is used as a storage only tokenless blockchain 
so we are going to see the see in the details what are the different uh, types uh, public private and all this so here we are discussing only to show you there are different kinds of a blockchain also out of that we are calling some of the pub some uh, blockchains are public some are private some are hybrid and like that it it depends upon the uh, now which type of blockchain is used it depends upon the type of the application it depending upon the requirement of application which type of blockchain is suitable for uh, the application okay so that is very important now the next one is what distributed ledger technology so distributed ledger technology it's a very uh, broad term and which is used for referring the shared databases okay so all the blockchains all the blockchains whatever may be the type of the blockchain all the blockchains are fundamentally distributed ledgers okay but all distributed ledgers are not necessarily the blockchain okay so blockchain is a special type of a shared database and that is comprised of blockchain of transaction so as we discussed in our earlier session also all these blocks okay which are part of this we are calling it as a distributed database consist of different types of transactions okay uh, which are confirmed okay in a blockchain network okay so distributed ledger technology you can simply consider this as a shared databases okay which is used for storing the information now another distributed ledger that does not use the blocks but we can call it as a distributed ledger it is called as a r3 scorda this is one of the real time uh, example of the distributed ledger okay but we are not uh, but in that case uh, transactions are not stored in the blocks okay so corda is about distributed ledger which is developed and record the record and manage the agreement so that kind of r3 is corda distributed data uh, ledger is developed okay and most of the time this kind of uh, distributed ledger uh, r3 corda used in the financial industry okay and if you compare it with the other like a uh, blockchain uh, like bitcoin and the ethereum make use of blocks to update the shared database okay so it is something different okay so very important understanding is what all blockchains are fundamentally distributed ledgers but all distributed ledgers are not necessary blockchain okay so this is very very important take away from this particular session okay then types of blockchain part we have seen okay so <coughs> we'll stop here uh, and we'll meet again uh, with the new concept in the blockchain now.